Hello love, it's Janine Brown of JTB Love Ministry and welcome back to my channel. If this is the first time to my channel, please like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you will be notified of all future teachings. Thank you for helping me spread the truth of God's word to a lost and dying world. Now saints, I encourage you, please share this video. Please share all my videos. Watch them all the way through. It helps with the algorithms to get the truth out to so many lost people in this world today. We gotta stop following these pastors and we gotta follow Jesus. Now, the Bible tells us in Ecclesiastes 12, verse 14, he said, and God will bring all works into judgment, including every secret thing, whether good or evil. Now you can tell from the headlines that T.D. Jakes has been named in the Diddy lawsuit. Now this headline comes from endtimeheadlines.org and I'm going to put the link to it in the description box below. Now we're all familiar with the raid of Diddy's homes in New York, in Miami, in LA. And we also saw that the feds came out with laptops and we don't know what else they had, but you know what? Sean Combs calls his label bad boy because he's a bad boy. And the Bible tells us what fellowship does light have with darkness. So T.D. Jakes had no business hanging around with P. Diddy and going to his parties. There's no excuse for it. Okay, he was called bad boy. That in itself should have kept him away. So there's more to this story and there's more that's going to be coming out. And I can't wait. I am so glad that God is exposing all of these apostate fake pastors like TD fakes. Now, those of you gonna come on and say, don't judge, don't judge. Okay, you black people that say that, just say don't judge black people because you judge Trump, you jump, you judge everybody else. Just say don't judge black people. I'm not judging, it's fruit inspection. And from where I'm sitting, it's rotten fruit. T.D. Jakes has rotten fruit, had no business there and never explained why, but flippantly said, oh, all I have to do is repent. Uh, I don't think so. You're a shepherd because God is a patient God. And he didn't allow this to be exposed just right away. He gave you time to repent and you didn't. The Holy Spirit was telling you to repent and rejected him. And if those of you are interested, like I said, I did a video. Jake's no longer meets the qualifications of a bishop. Look at his household. His daughter's pregnant at 12 has a baby at what, 13 or pregnant at 13, has a baby at 14 and had two husbands. Sons are gay, one caught in the park, exposing himself to an undercover cop. God is exposing Jake's. And it's a shame too. And all you people that wanna to continue to follow these apostate, fake, phony pastors, you're hell bound. Thou shall have no other gods before me. So endtimeheadlines.org, that is the website. I'm going to put the information in the description box below. And I encourage you guys, today is the day of your salvation. We never know what's gonna happen. Things happen every day in a split, sec split second, just like James tells us, life is but a vapor. If you don't know Jesus or Jesus doesn't know you, that's what I should say. Today is the day of your salvation. Hell is real. And Jesus talked more about hell than he did about heaven. So get, get right, get your business together. Get prepared because Jesus ain't playing. And all I'm sitting back with my popcorn talking about, who's next? Who's next? What pastor is next? Because divine judgment is now. God bless everybody listening. And if you don't know Jesus, I encourage you to humble yourself, get on your knees, 
and ask Jesus to forgive you and receive him today as your Lord and Savior. And remember, that's just the beginning. And that's, it's the beginning for all of us. Because the Bible tells us in Matthew 24, he said, he that endures till the end will be saved. You got to endure. You got to be obedient. And you got to walk what you talk. God bless everybody listening and have an amazing day.